Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to apply CSS to individual pages uh, in Weebly. Now this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the, in the uh, description of this video. Now, um, of what use is applying CSS to individual pages in Weebly? Okay, let me give you an example scenario. Um, and I will use our demo site to do that. So here's our demo site. And our demo site has three pages. Home page, um, an about us page, and a contact page. Two of the pages use the header page layout. The about us page and the contact page. And one of the pages uses the no header page layout, the home page. We want to um, hide the banner image on the About Us page. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just apply the no header page layout to the About Us page? Okay, let's do that. That's not gonna work because we installed a sidebar on our no header page layout, and we don't want a sidebar on our About Us page. Okay, so what do we do here? The solution is to use the uh, use a pages body class. So every page you create in Weebly automatically generates a unique body class from the name you give the page. For example, um, a page in your Weebly site called contact would generate the body class dot w site page. Here is where dot w site hyphen page dot contact. I'm sorry. Dot, dot w site hyphen page hyphen contact. In another example, uh, a page in your Weebly site called about us would generate the body class dot w site hyphen page hyphen about hyphen us. Okay, and now the only and the uh, the only exception to this rule is the home page, which will always have the body class dot w site page index. Okay, so let's hide the banner image on our about us page. Okay, so here we go. All right, step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. All right, so go to your site, go to theme at the top, and on the uh, bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS, and that'll open Weebly's HTML CSS editor for us. Step two, add CSS code. All right, so we want to hide the banner image. We want to hide just the banner image on just the about us page. Okay. So to do this, we need the we need two things here. We need the about us pages unique body class that's automatically generated when the page is created. And as I mentioned before, in this instance, um, the body class for our about us page is going to be dot w site hyphen page hyphen about hyphen us. And we also need the ID or class of our banner image. And for this particular demo site, um, our banner div has a class called um, banner wrap. And on a side note, if you're trying to figure out the idea or class of any div in your Weebly site, just go to your live site. Do this real quick. Uh, Tension here. Um, say you want to find out the div of this gray area, you just right click on it, click inspect. And it's right here. So it would be it would have this uh, gray area here on the right has a class called uh, right. Okay. Uh, back to the tutorial. All right. Um, okay. So let's add our CSS coding. So to do that, go back to oops, the editor here. All right. So on the left, under styles, click on main.ls. Or if you're using an older Weebly theme, your CSS file will be called uh, main underscore styles or style.css. On the right, we are going to hide the banner image. So we're going to find the banner images uh, CSS coding. Okay. All right. Now, here's how we hide the banner image uh, on just the About Us page. Uh, the first piece of CSS coding we add, as I mentioned, is the About Us pages uh, body class that's automatically gener generated when the page was created. So it's going to be .wsite. Page, 
type it about if you not okay that's the first part of the code that this class allows us to target just the about us page okay and now we want to target the banner image within this page within the about us page and to do that we do a space and since um, our banner wrap actually you can see right above here um, our banner wrap has a class called our banner image has a class called um, banner hyphen wrap we're going to add that after the body the body class we just added banner hyphen wrap opening closing curly bracket and to hide the banner image and we're going to use the css code display none and that's it okay. so let me show you click save and when i click save um, since the about us page and the contact page are both using the header page layout the banner image on the about us page should be hidden um, on the about us page but it should be vis still be visible on the contact page despite the two pages using the exact same page layout so we'll click save give it a second and you can see that the banner image has disappeared on the about us page and it is still visible on the contact page and i'll show you that both pages are still using the exact same uh, page layout you can see it's using the header the contact page is using the header page layout and the about us page is also using the header page layout all right, guys, so that is how you apply CSS to individual pages in Weebly.